Hey guys, Hallie here. Um, I had a couple requests to do a video on breastfeeding tips. Um, breastfeeding is very, very difficult, especially at the beginning. Um, the first day or so was not bad. It didn't hurt. Um, uh, my midwife was right there, and she asked me if it was okay if she like touched me, and she just kind of like stimulated everything and just you know put him on. And as soon as he opened wide, she just pushed him right on. Um, and so far that's worked. Um, he usually latches. We have had to give him formula a few times and at one point my nipples were so sore and actually bleeding that um, I had to pump and give it to him, give him breast milk by a bottle. Um, even though I don't want to use bottle or formula, um, obviously I'd rather use bottle of breast milk, <laughs> but um, he has had some slight confusion with like nipple there's like two different ways they suck one is um when your nipple goes in their mouth you can actually if your fingers are clean I don't use pacifiers either so when he's really upset if I know that he's not hungry and I know that he's just been fed and he's just being fussy and I don't want to overfeed him and have him throw up more I'll wash my hands I had to cut off all my pretty nails now they're all ugly they look like Brandon's nails actually not that gross. He bites his nails and they're ugh. Anyway, um, so I wash my hands and then you would go like this inside their mouth, like with it upward. It's kind of awkward doing it to myself. So you would do it upward, like, now you can't even see, it's too low. <laughs> but you would go upward and if you feel inside your own mouth, if you just put your finger right behind these two teeth, there's like a little like a little pocket almost and it's more pronounced in newborns and so you would take your finger you would curl it up and you would put it in there and this is only if you know that he's fed and he's literally just being fussy and you don't want to give him a pacifier um, a lot of mothers especially American mothers they do give pacifiers I'm totally against pacifiers against bottles and against formula um, to each their own I don't judge but just for me personally and for my kid we're not doing all that <laughs> and um so I would just put this inside his mouth, just like this. This is the exact angle I would do it at. And you could feel that little pocket, and he'll just suckle at it. Um, I noticed when I was giving him bottles and formula, um, when I was raw, or if I just wanted to calm him down, I would either overfeed him if he was already fed, or um, formula also, when they spit it up, it stains. It stains whatever he's wearing, even if you wash it, like, right away. So he's already... Uh, ruined about two outfits. I've only given him about four or five formula bottles ever. Actually, maybe more than that because we did a couple in the hospital when he had jaundice. Maybe like eight. I wouldn't say any more than eight. But, uh, and he doesn't eat the whole thing. He, for a while, he was just doing like 20 to 30 uh, milliliters. Sorry, my computer talks to me. <laughs> um, so yeah, so, I mean, with You'll notice if you do have to give a bottle or you have to supplement or even if you're giving a bottle with breast milk, you'll notice there's two different sucking patterns. There's the one where he opens wide, he'll latch on, and then he's like, you know, using like his back, you'll see his back muscles in his face, you know, even actually down his jaw a little bit, you'll see them moving. The other one is just like a, it's like, it's, it's completely different. He's using more, I guess, his tongue and something else and when he tries he doesn't necessarily latch on as good he'll literally just kind of latch on right into the nipple almost and he'll try to do that thinking it's a, a nipple of a bottle he doesn't really get any milk out and then he gets frustrated and then uh, I think the last time I had to supplement with a little bit of milk was actually like two or three nights ago and I'm not gonna do that anymore I'm just gonna have to tough it out and just use the boob and that's it <laughs> um, because he is I mean, it hasn't really caused a major problem for me yet, but I f already feel like if I continue to do that, it's going to be a serious problem. So, um, in order to avoid that, I'm just, you know, going to stop using any type of um, bottle at all. Um, so, the first thing is make sure... You got a hiccup? First thing is when you breastfeed, make sure you have clean hands. The reason for this is because if he latches on improperly... Um, and also, clean hands and cut your fingernails. And if you don't want to cut your fingernails, at least cut this one, your pinky, or maybe like this one too. So your two smallest fingers, um, except for your thumb. <laughs> um, and 
my reason for this is because you need to break a latch sometimes and trust me like their latches they're like okay the first or second day and then literally the more you breastfeed the stronger their latch gets and that's why like the third and fourth day that he was born I was like really in a lot of pain um, he, my milk came in on my thir third day I think it was or maybe it was my second day I'm not 100% sure um, but one day, I think it was the second day, he had nursed for an hour on one side. And then he cried, so I changed him. And then we went on this side, and he did another hour. And my boobs were, like, bleeding. I couldn't touch them. I couldn't even put a bra on. I was known as, like, the naked lady in the, <laughs> the mother-baby ward. I don't care. I'm naked all the time anyway. It doesn't bother me, but... Other people, they're like, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I'm like, I'm just naked. Come on in. I don't care. <laughs> But, um, so, for that, I mean, I had to use nipple shields. They were actually hurting more. Then I got to the point where I was just pumping and giving him a bottle. But what happened was, uh, they told me in the hospital he actually started using me as a human pacifier. And he wasn't even really trying to nurse. I mean, yeah, he was getting milk out. But, you know, his stomach was only the size of a marble at that point. And I think now it's like the size of a, well, actually, that was at one week. One week, I think it's a ping pong ball. So it must be a little bigger than that now. But... Um, they said he was using me as like a human pacifier and basically just to pacify himself. <laughs> so it definitely caused me a lot of pain, but I'm glad that it did because I think that helped my milk come in sooner. I've talked to women whose milk haven't come in for over a week. Sometimes I think someone said 14 days. I'm not sure if that's possible, but I think I heard that. And, um, that must be really challenging. Um, colostrum is very nutritious, very, very nutritious and it's very thick. Um, but definitely when your milk comes in it just seems like it's so much easier and you're more confident that they're getting what they need um how do you know that they're getting you know enough well you monitor that by wet diapers and dry diapers i mean wet diapers and poopy diapers you know obviously pee diapers and poop diapers um i said wet, <laughs> wet and dry um so you monitor it with that also um this isn't like a hundred percent i'm not saying to swear your life by this this is what I do because he had lost a pound and three ounces while in the hospital because of jaundice and because, um, I guess, because my milk supply hadn't come in right away. Um, but he went from six pounds, 13 ounces, all the way down to five pounds, 10 ounces. And that was only within like two days. So I felt really, really terrible. And I know they said they lose a lot of weight, sometimes up to 20%. But even the doctors are worried about it, and it stressed me out, and that's why I agreed to giving him formula only in the hospital. Um, so, I mean, with that, by the time he left, since my supply had came in, he was back up to 514. And then um, last Wednesday, he was up to 6 pounds, 4.5 ounces. And um, I had to go to the ER the other day because of uh, an allergic reaction. He was 6 pounds... 12 ounces and yesterday he was 6 pounds 11 ounces the only reason he lost an ounce is because in the hospital they weigh him with clothes and in the doctor's office they weigh him without clothes so I'm pretty sure his little onesie weighs more than just an ounce so chances are he might be like 6 13 with it on um, what I was doing like I said this is not guaranteed